back to San Antonio living. It is almost fall, or maybe it is officially, I don't know, but it's starting to feel like fall. And that means you want to have people over to the house for supper clubs, for fall dinner parties, and we have got a guideline for you this morning. Diane Gotsman is joining us. She is our etiquette expert here in San Antonio. It's good to see you. Nice seeing you. I've excited. I feel like a fall party is coming. I, it's time. And you know, the word supper is confusing because some people in some parts of the country say dinner, sure. supper, lunch. We're just talking about a time to get together with friends okay. or people we don't even know. And there's all kinds of supper clubs and that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. And you are featured in a magazine this month. I'm very excited. Yes. And we're talking about supper club etiquette in the autumn issue of Celebrate. Okay. So it's Celebrate magazine, celebrations, and it's a great magazine and, and we're going to talk about some of the tips here today. Okay, so let's say you're getting ready to throw a dinner party or inviting some people over for a slup, a slupper club. <laughs> a slup, a See, slupper party. I had to go with a dinner because <laughs> supper is hard for me to say. So what do we need to know as someone who's hosting this? Uh, what, what kind of tips do I need? So think about the venue you want to have because okay. you know a supper club could be held in a church room, you know, some kind of off-site, okay. or it could be in your own living room. So decide the venue, okay. and that's important. And then you have to decide how big it want, do you want to have it. Okay. Do you want to have just a few intimate friends, or do you want to have a big bash with people you don't even know? This is interesting. You say create a lively guest list, and that's something you really should take into consideration. You can't invite only quiet people to your dinner party. Because then it's boring. Right? So <laughs> think about it. So you do, And you don't want to have just people that know each other. Okay. Because they already know all about each other. They've already talked to each other on the phone at lunch. They talked to each other last night. So get some, some groups together that aren't familiar so you have some lively conversation. Okay, you also want us as the host to give direction to our guests. So does that mean if it's a potluck, I need to let them know, or if I want them to bring dessert? Yes. Okay. So, so let them know what to expect. Let them know what you want them to wear. Let them know what time you want them to show up. Okay. If you need something, let them know specifically what it is you need. That way they're not guessing or wondering. Okay. So that's important. So there's no surprises. And as a host, find out if there's any dietary restrictions. Really? I have to do that? Yes. Because you know <laughs> there's people who are gluten-free. Check there here for vegetarian. Check here for gluten-free. It's your supper class club and you're a great this host, is true. So I am. you want to make sure Very that nice. you are accommodating all of your guests. Okay, another great tip, engage your guests and also, you know, consider who is exciting when you're setting the arrangement around the table, right? So, you know, I think it's important where you place your guests. Okay. So you're not going to put three quiet guests together and then they're all sitting there saying nothing. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you've got a mix of different personalities and if you use place cards and how fun to make your own place cards. Use leaves or use uh, name name cards that have little, you can make your own. Are you okay. very crafty? Um, I'm kind of crafty but I, yeah, I make the kids do it. Like for Thanksgiving yeah, it's a huge deal and we keep them year after year. I love that okay. idea. Okay, so yeah. use them. Now you have to invite the same guests year after year. <laughs> true. This so you true. don't want to do that. But, and actually you do you want to do that with a supper club. You want to have the same people. You can keep adding people, but there should be some uniformity okay. so they know what to expect from year to year or okay. at least month to month. All right. Good tips for the host. Now let's switch it over. If you are the guest coming to a dinner party or a supper club, you need to abide by the host's wishes, right? So if I ask you to bring a dessert, and you bring an entree or you bring an hors d'oeuvre, that kind of blows my menu. It sure does. So if they ask you to please bring something, bring specifically what they need. And if they say don't bring anything at all, that means they don't want anything. They okay. already have the menu planned. Okay. Should I arrive with a hostess gift? That's what you bring. Okay. So you always arrive with a little something for the host of the event. Okay. And that could be a bottle of wine that's unchilled, because if it's chilled, that means you want them to serve it now. Okay. Or a box of chocolates. Now, what what if they're diabetic? You don't have to worry about that because it's just the gesture that counts because sometimes you may not know that host very True. well. Okay. What about RSVPing and canceling? Is there like a time frame between when the invitation comes and when I need to let them know whether or not I'm coming? As soon as you get that invitation, you need to look at your calendar and give yourself a couple of days and then RSVP. Don't wait for a week or two weeks because it looks like you're shopping your options. And once <laughs> you RSVP, you have to go. Okay. You have to go because it 
looks like something better came up. And you know what? That's normally what happens is something something really Once great. Once you've committed, comes out, though, you got to go. Well, you have to go. Absolutely. You have to go. Okay. What about dinner table conversation? What's appropriate when you're <laughs> at, um, you know, a supper club or a dinner meeting? You know, it's our job as guests to be interesting. So even if we are introverts and we're shy, we still have to know a little bit about what's going on because when we get there, we can't just sit there like a bump on the log because our host is going to be unhappy. Okay. So stay away from, if you can, stay away from politics, at least heated debates. Now, we are in the big middle of debates as we go on right now. But, you know, you want to know that you know what's going on, but you certainly don't want to get in a fist fight at the table. Well, that would be stay, tough. No, yeah. that would be tough. That would be kind of <laughs> amusing for some of the rest of us. <laughs> you said be interactive. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and you stay away from health issues. You stay away from divorce, who is, you know, all kinds of things that could get catty and gossipy. Okay. And talk about uplifting things, movies, hobbies, where you're going on vacation, you know, things that people are really interested in that are positive rather than negative. Okay. And when's a good time to leave? Like right after dessert? If or they are turning is there off the lights frame? on you, it's too late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so a good time to leave is after dessert. Okay. You don't want to leave before. You don't want to be the first to leave and you don't want to be the last to leave. Okay. So let the first guest leave and then you follow suit. And if there's a timeline, let's say if it's from 6.30 to 9, at 9 o'clock, that's your time to go. Okay. They're, they're waiting for you to to pack up your things and leave. All right, I love it. Great information. All I need is an invitation for dinner. You just let me know and I'll be, okay. I'll be waiting. To my supper club. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. If you've got questions, pick up Celebrations Magazine. Diane's got uh, some great information in there for you. You can also contact her on Facebook at the Protocol School of Texas. That's the best way to contact Diane if you've got questions online as well, Diane.